color analysis. Why do you need a color analysis? Well, it helps you look your absolute best consistently. It saves you money when you are shopping and you look radiant. A color analysis takes approximately two hours and I recommend my clients arrive at my office wearing something they love and enjoy wearing and with the amount of makeup they normally wear. Then I do the introduction to them and I would say some of the following. The color analysis started in 1942 and it's a concept that's based on a decision that you make as a consultant on the skin tone, the hair color, the color of the freckles, the color of the tooth enamel, and even the eye patterns. So you're looking at that person and you really must take their cosmetics off prior to the consultation analysis part in order to see what their natural skin tone is. Most clients are probably wearing makeup, about 70 or more percent of the makeup choices they make are not their best color choices. And if a client has colored their hair and it's not a color that's their best choice, that of course is then going to change their analysis and that's not what you want to happen. So when you ask the client, is this your natural hair coloring? Rather than saying, do you color your hair? And that will give you an, an advantage. When you're new at this, I do recommend that you might color cover the client's hair with a cloth so that the color of the hair isn't bouncing into the face. As a new consultant, I also recommend that when you're standing behind her to analyze her colors, that you wear something in a neutral color rather than having the colors that you're wearing again bounce in and change the subtlety. In your studio, I recommend that you paint it white. Decorator white. A little boring, however, even the background colors of the wall will change people's color of skin, so you want to use white. It is mandatory to use the proper light bulbs in your studio. Ideally, daylight is lovely, but many of your clients are going to come to you in the evenings, so you will want full spectrum lighting. The light bulbs may also be called daylight, they may also be called halogen which means full spectrum. And that is one of the things that you will find when you have the proper lighting, you can actually see the person's skin tone properly. Some people will have dark circles under their eyes. You want to look and see if it's a purple circle, a muddy brown circle, a gray circle, or even in the burgundy range. And all of these are clues. The person's uh, skin tone counts, and of course the color of their freckles, whether they are a golden brown or an ash or taupe. People's tooth enamel will be yellow based or a blue base. Now you don't really see blue in the teeth but you will want to see warm or cool. As a consultant you learn to see differently and of course most consultants are visual learners which is practically essential to be good at our jobs. So after their makeup is off, you've done the introduction, and they're sitting in front of the mirror with proper full spectrum lighting, you're going to analyze with a series of testers, which I have here. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and every consultant gets the testers as well as all the draping fabrics. So we start by testing with peach or pink. The person is either warm with peach or cool with pink. And your goal is not to look at the colors, but to look at their face. When the colors are not correct for the person, they will have uh, the changes in their facial look. Their eyes might sink back, their nose might appear longer, the dark circles will appear more visually uh, noticeable, and maybe even the Marriott lines of the face here. So the facial features seem to separate. When the colors are absolutely fabulous, that smooths out even without makeup. So you start with your testers, you're holding them up here like this with the client. You and the client are both looking in the mirror. The client may not see what you see. If you get someone who shows up for color analysis and you know immediately what they are, don't tell them that. They're paying you a lot of money to be an expert, so you want to work through the whole process and educate her as to why and how and what season she truly is. 
If you don't have a clue what that client is, and that often happens as a new consultant, you might say to her, I am so glad that you came to me. As a certified image consultant, I will discover your color analysis, and you are quite challenging. Oh, how I love a client that is challenging. So you start with peach, then move into pink, then orange, and then fuchsia. So each of those colors represent peach for spring, pink for summer, autumn is orange, and winter is fuchsia. You're working on a process of elimination of what is not her. So the goal will be to try to eliminate either a warm or a cool palette. Spring and autumn are warm, and summer and winter are the cool. So then in your testers, you will receive from me the next series of colors. So you will have four reds, four yellows, four blues, and four any other color that I choose to put in here. So you'll have them all. The greens are good too. So if you have four reds, the spring red is going to be like cherries. The summer red is going to be a raspberry. The autumn red is going to be tomato red, and the winter red is going to be Christmas red. Our yellows are going to be bright like daffodils in the springtime for our, our springs. Our summer yellow is pastel yellow with no gold in it. Our autumn yellow is a nice, rich, uh, golden type of color, like a harvest and a sunset. And our winter yellow is going to be lemon yellow. And you, the colors you receive will be all in that order. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. You work through a process of elimination. By the time you finish your testers, you will know the person is either not warm or not cool. Then the next test is going to be, you're going to test foundation on their cheek. And all foundation colors have a warm or a cool base. And when you put them on their skin, you will see the yellow or the pink within the foundation. So that's another good test. And then by that point, you'll know for sure warm or cool. You can do a little more testing, especially when you're new. But within that amount of time as an experienced consultant, you will know for sure. Then you're going to apply their makeup in the colors that are ideally suited to them. So yes, I carry a personal line of my own cosmetics to apply to the clients because it's an added sale. You may wish to do that yourself, but you may also start without that, depending on what your investment is as you set up your studio. And then when you know the client's colors and the makeup is done, then you're going to drape them with the draping bibs from that season and you're going to put them up one color at a time. The fabrics are cotton broadcloth, not that exciting. However, I usually add silk scarves to it and I create a magical uh, verbal presentation for them about what their wardrobe would look like. So it could be the soft pastels of summer and this light, nice light blue or denim looks great on you, light to dark and all of the different things so they actually can see a wardrobe happening. At the end of the consultation, then you go to another area within your studio and you show them some poster boards with the colors as well as the garments that a spring, summer, fall, or winter would wear. Then you take a look at their makeup and show them why their colors are correct or not correct. Most of the clients will have makeup that is not the correct color for them. And that's a perfect opportunity to then showcase your colors and show them what's best. The least expensive and most dramatic immediate change is to change person's cosmetics and their hair color. Gloria Starr, the international image consultant of choice.